hi so in this first phase we will discuss about the installation and then we will write our first code so for installation process we have two ways uh, one is offline compiler and the second one is online compiler so let's discuss about first online compiler so for online compiler we have to go for browsing and then search here in your browser dot online compiler so here you can see a lot of websites which you can use uh, so i will use dot online compiler at replit.com here you have a interface for writing your code so here i will write my first code and hello dot and then run it and it is working so here is one way a uh, first way and the second way is use offline compiler so for offline compiler you have to install on uh, dart sdk uh, dart sdk on your system you can install here by this website you can install dart sdk in your system and then after installation of dart sdk you have to install vs code so after installation of dart sdk and vs code you have to open your vs code and then in extensions you have to search about dart so here you can see my dart extension is already installed so if you if you don't have installed you can install from here and then after installation you have to go view then command palette and then here you have to write dart and here, here in dart new project you have to select console application and here you have to specify the location so i'm specifying the location and specify the name of folder so i'm specifying practice 2 select folder and here i have to write the uh, write the name of my application so i'm getting selecting same as practice 2 so our default code will already which is already written uh, by dart sdk will appear here in our screen so we have to remove it and write our own code let's remove it and write our or main code print hi and Muhammad print M senior web developer and flutter engineer print we will learn about dot programming in this course so for running the uh, for running your code we have a shortcut key f5 press f5 and here in debug console you can see a uh, input of our code so here is my output which i have uh, which is a input of our code which i have read 